So I'm spinning on one of my spinning wheels and the way it works is you use your feet to treadle, that moves the wheel and that's what gives twist to the fiber that you're turning into yarn. Um, up here is where the yarn is being wound onto, this is called the bobbin. This is the flyer and it goes around the bobbin to wind the yarn on. Um, this is fiber. Usually it's from sheep, so it's some kind of wool. You can mix it different kinds of sheep. You can mix in um, cashmere, which comes from a goat. A very popular fiber is merino fiber. And what I'm, <clears throat> what I'm doing here is it's called drafting. So I'm pulling bits of fiber out and then the spinning wheel is adding the twist to make the to make it solid into this is called a singles yarn because it's just a single strand now we called it a thread and then what you do usually is you take several of these and twist them around each other to create the actual yarn and if you look at um, even a thread sewing thread you'll see that it's actually just twisted up together. This is done also not just with, with wool, with what's called animal fibers, but also with plant fibers like cotton or linen or flax. They do the exact same thing. Um, one of the differences is for cotton, uh, the what's called the staple length is, is really short. So the fiber is just like hair for animals. So you can see that this is relatively short. But if you have um, someone like Naomi, which has, who has really, really long hair, right? Then you would have really, really long fibers. And that makes it somewhat easier to spin because it doesn't pull apart so much. Cotton is very difficult to spin because the staple length, it's called. The length of these fibers is really short. It's like an inch long. So that makes it really challenging to keep it all coherent. And then occasionally on the flyer, you need to move the, the singles up so that it's evenly distributing. So I hope that helps, makes sense. Have a good one.